How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm just out in the woods today with the two dogs. Uh, just out for a day trip here. I'm gonna have a little boil up now and a coffee. So as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, I'm gonna be doing my 500 subscriber giveaway. So my channel just, uh, just passed 500 subscribers here a few weeks ago. So uh, I've been trying to uh, get a chance to do this video. I've had a couple of uh, prizes picked up to uh, give away for for 500 subscriber giveaway video. So I figured today would be uh, a good opportunity to uh, take the camera along and get this video done. So it's a beautiful day here. First uh, nice day we've had in a while here now in central Newfoundland. So anyways, uh, if you're just interested in the giveaway and entering the giveaway uh, I'm gonna give the details on that towards the end of the video here and show you guys uh, the prizes that I'm gonna be giving away so I'll put a time stamp on the screen here you can go ahead and skip ahead to that time if you just want to uh, get the details on the giveaway but in the meantime uh, like I said I'm gonna have a little uh, little cook up here so I uh, brought some smoked uh, moose meat and my cast iron pan. So I'm gonna make up some uh, moose fajitas over fire. And then I'm gonna boil up some water for a coffee and uh, sit back and enjoy coffee. And I'll tell you guys the details on the giveaway, show you guys uh, what's up for grabs and tell you how to, uh, to enter the giveaway contest if you're interested. So that's the plan. Anyways, I uh, hope you stay tuned and enjoy the video. Don't touch.
Oh, 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 oh. oh baby. That's good. Mmm. I'll get you a piece of moose in a minute, bud. Oh man, this is deadly. So I smoked the moose meat ahead of time. So uh, I did that yesterday at home. Just smoked a couple of pieces of moose meat with hickory smoke. And uh, then all I had to do here today was just slice it up. Toss it in the frying pan with the uh, vegetables. Just to warm it up a little bit. Man, I'll tell you, that flavor is unreal. Okay, so I've got two prizes here to give away. So uh, I'm going to be giving both of these prizes to one lucky winner. So uh, whoever's name comes out of the draw here on the draw date, uh, you'll be getting both of these prizes. So first of all, I've got this uh, Holta Fours outdoor knife. So pretty, uh, pretty cool little knife. Comes with a plastic uh, sheath. So, I want to say a big thanks to uh, Jonathan Stiles and Newfoundland Knife Company. So, uh, I did purchase this knife from, uh, from Jonathan, uh, but he was kind enough to hook me up with a discount on the knife. So, uh, Definitely helped out with the giveaway. So uh, thanks again to uh, Jonathan Stiles, Newfoundland Knife Company. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to this video uh, for his website and uh, his Instagram as well. Uh, I follow him on Instagram and uh, he's got a ton of uh, great products. So he sells a bunch of top brand name uh, knives and axes and all that kind of stuff. And he also makes his own custom made knives and he's really been uh, putting out a lot of, uh, of new custom knives. So don't forget to check out his Instagram page. And like I said, he's got a ton of uh, nice stuff on there. And uh, I actually, the knife that I'm carrying right now is one of his custom knives. So you guys have probably seen this one before. But uh, if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, this was this one was made by Jonathan, so awesome knife. Uh, this is the NL Ranger 2 model. Really good knife. I've been carrying it for uh, for a couple of months now, and really loving it. It's just a beast of a knife. And the sheath is awesome as well. So it does really good leather work, and uh, he uh, he was able to etch my logo into the sheath as well. So. Pretty talented guy, so don't forget to check out his page. All right, so to go along with the knife, I have this survival pouch. So uh, this is a little uh, kit that I put together myself. So there's a bunch of uh, random items in it. So I'll show you guys a close up here in a minute of uh, a few of the things that are inside of here. But uh, basically what I had in mind with this was uh, just like a little emergency kit something you can throw down in the bottom of your day pack or maybe throw in uh, the storage compartment on your snowmobile or ATV and basically it just has like a few essential items in here that uh, you know if you're out for say you're out for a day in the woods and uh, you happen to get turned around or if you're out uh, snowmobiling you happen to get broke down by yourself and uh, you end up having to uh, spend an unexpected night in the woods or a few hours or whatever the case may be until you can make it out or someone can come and find you uh, just put a few things in here that uh, would kind of make things a little more comfortable for you if you had to uh, spend the night in the woods so uh, there's a bunch of different stuff in here and uh, yeah I'll show you guys a close-up of uh, some of the items that I put in here 
So I made up one of these for myself as well uh, while I was at it because the little pouch here came in a two pack. So I'm going to be giving one away and I'm going to keep one for myself to uh, probably throw in the back of the ATV or in my uh, my aluminum speedboat that I use for moose hunting. I'll, I'll keep it in one of those places and you never know when something like this could uh, really save you if you, uh, if you end up stranded out for a night or two in the woods unexpectedly. All right, so here's a little look at what I put inside. So first of all, the pouch itself, uh, I got these from Amazon, so uh, I'll put a link in the description just in case anyone's interested in, in picking one of these up to do a little kit for yourself. Uh, so they come with these uh, belt loops, so even if you're just heading out for a hike in the woods or whatever, just for a few hours, and you wanted to hook this onto your belt, uh, if you're not taking a pack, like a, a backpack, you could do that. And at least you would have some uh, some survival items to fall back on, if need be. Alright, so, I'll just show you guys a few things uh, that I put in here. So, uh, i got a headlamp. Uh, let's see, Goose, what are you doing, bud? There's nothing in here for you. Okay, I've got one of these uh, reflective uh, reflective emergency blankets, so this would definitely come in handy. Uh, you could cover yourself up in this to uh, to keep warm, or if the weather was uh, bad, if it's raining or snowing or whatever, uh, you could string this up as sort of like a makeshift tarp. And that's one of the reasons why I included this paracord. You throw up a ridge line and uh, kind of do like a tarp shelter type thing to stay out of the weather. So that's those two things. Uh, I got some snare wire. Got a Bic lighter, uh, an orange Bic lighter, so it's highly visible. And I wrapped a bunch of uh, Gorilla tape around it. So tape uh, can come in handy for hundreds of different things. But it's also a really good fire starter as well. So you just uh, t take off some of this tape, kind of tear it up a little bit, and light it with the lighter, and that tape will uh, will burn for a few minutes, and that, that can really help you get a fire going in wet conditions. Uh, I got this little tin here. Uh, basically, stag this full of cotton balls that are soaked in petroleum jelly. So these are awesome little fire starters as well. I use those all the time myself. Uh, what else? We got uh, some matches. Waterproof case with some uh, Strike Anywhere matches. I've got uh, a ferro rod. Ferrocerium rod here. And it comes with a little striker. And I have a candle in here as well. So one of these little tea light candles could come in handy as well. So yeah, that's the, that's the little survival kit. So uh, nothing fancy in here, but uh, if, like I said, if you, were, uh, if you found yourself spending a night in the woods unexpectedly, you would definitely uh, much rather have this little kit than have nothing at all, for sure. So, All right, guys, so... I'm going to try and make this uh, giveaway as simple as possible uh, as I normally try and do. So if you want to enter to win the knife and the survival kit, uh, you have to do three things. So first of all, you have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel, Langdon Outdoors. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, the second thing is you have to hit the like button on this video. And the third thing is you have to leave a comment on this video. So uh, the comment can be anything at all. It doesn't matter. So uh, as long as I see your name in that comment section uh, and you're subscribed to the channel and you hit the like button, uh, your name will automatically be entered to win the prizes. So the draw date is going to be February 15th, 2022. So if you're watching this video on or before February 15th, 2022, uh, you can still enter the contest by doing those uh, three things that I just mentioned. So hopefully uh, you'll go ahead and enter the contest. Uh, the more the better. So 
yeah you never know your luck you can't win if uh, if you don't enter so feel free to go ahead and enter so before I sign off here I just want to take a minute to say a huge thanks to uh, all my subscribers and to anyone who's uh, supported the YouTube channel so far so uh, I know 500 doesn't seem like uh, a lot of subscribers to most people probably but uh, <clears throat> to me uh, I'm pretty happy with it uh, you know when I first started this channel uh, let's see I think it was back in April of last year the first video I posted so about eight or nine months ago roughly uh, when I first started the channel I had zero expectations uh, and anyone who knows me personally knows that uh, you know I'm a pretty quiet guy I like to stay to myself and uh, you know, I spend a lot of time out in the woods by myself, as you uh, as you can tell by watching the videos, I guess. But yeah, when I uh, when I first posted a video of me out doing this kind of stuff, uh, it was definitely outside of my comfort zone. And a lot of people who know me personally, uh, you know, they always say I'm the last person they ever thought that would uh, post videos to YouTube. But anyways, uh, you know, the older uh, I'm getting in life here. Uh, the more I'm starting to realize that if you want to do something, you just got to go out and do it. And, you know, sometimes that's going to mean uh, getting outside of your comfort zone and, and putting yourself out there or whatever. But, uh, like I said, life is too short to, uh, to not do things because you're worried about what someone else is going to think or whatever. Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I, uh, I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone for watching. Hope you guys stay tuned to the channel. So I've got some uh, some good adventures planned for this year coming up. Definitely going to be doing uh, lots of winter camping. I got uh, I just came back from a trip a couple of days ago, and I'm hoping to get out for a couple more nights here this weekend in my canvas tent. So stay tuned for those videos. Once again, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.